let us consider design of a low pass Butterworth filter. The given problem has provided specifications for designing a digital low pass filter. The specifications are as follows. First, monotonic pass band and stop band. Minus 3.01 dB cutoff frequency of 0.5 pi radians. Stop band attenuation of at least 15 dB at 0.75 pi radians. Find the system function H of Z and the difference equation realization. The specification given are digital specifications. The frequencies are in terms of radians. The frequency is always expressed in the range of 0 to pi. So we are observing values in terms of fraction of pi. So these are how the specifications will be given for a digital filter. The question says that you have to find the system function h of z and also the difference equation realization. The transfer function is to be obtained. The plot for the magnitude response is as shown for the digital filter. 20 log of h of omega. Kp value is minus 3.01. Ks value is minus 15, omega p 0.5 pi, omega s is 0.75 pi. Now, we have to perform the first step which is called as pre-warping. We have to pre-warp the band edge frequencies omega p is equal to 0 0.5 pi and omega s is equal to 0.75 pi radians. Now the value of t is assumed to be equal to 1 second. The formula for pre-warping is omega p dash is equal to 2 by t tan of omega p by 2. Substituting the value of t is equal to 1 and substituting omega p we end up with the relation the expression yields the value which is 2 radians per second. Pre-warping the other edge frequency omega s dash is equal to 2 by t tan of omega s by 2. You get the answer is 2 by 1 tan of 0.75 pi divided by 2. This yields a result which is 4.8282 radians per second. Once the edge frequencies are pre-warped, next we have to go with Butterworth filter because the problem mentions that it is monotonic in both stop band and pass band. The specifications for the filter will be Kp value is equal to minus 3.01 dB, Ks value is equal to minus 15 dB, omega p dash is equal to 2 radians per second, omega s dash is equal to 4.828 radians per second. First, the order is calculated using the expression for order. So here the frequencies considered are omega p dash and omega s dash. On substituting, we'll get the value is 1.94. Turning off to the next largest integer, the value of capital N is equal to 2. Now we have to find the transfer function H2 of S for the normalized low pass filter. We determine the location of the poles using the expression SK is equal to 1 with an angle of theta k. This is evaluated for k between 0 to 2 and minus 1. So using the formula, we determine the location of the poles as shown here. The two poles S0 and S1 are given by the, the expressions shown here. We are favoring the left half poles because they are stable. The transfer function takes the form of 1 by S minus S0 into S minus S1. Substituting the values, we get H2 of S to be 1 by S square plus root 2 S plus 1. Next step is to determine the cutoff frequency omega C to meet the passband requirement exactly. The formula for omega C is omega P dash divided by 10 to the power of minus Kp by 10 minus 1 whole to the power of 1 by 2n. Substituting the values gives you the value of omega C as 2 radians per second. The pre-warped analog low pass filter HA of S is obtained using low pass to low pass transformation performed on H2 of S. 
that is H2FS we have to replace S with S divided by omega C. Omega C value is 2 hence the substitution is S by 2 and HAFS is 4 by S square plus 2 root to S plus 4. In step 3 we have to obtain H of Z by applying bilinear transformation. The bilinear transformation substitution is S being replaced by 2 by T 1 minus Z inverse by 1 plus Z inverse. Please remember in the beginning of the problem we had assumed T value to be 1 second. The same value of T has to be assumed here as well. Therefore, taking the expression of HA of S and replacing the value of S using bilinear transformation, substituting that value in the above equation and simplifying gives you a result which is shown below. This is the transfer function H of Z for the digital filter. Now in order to verify the design, yeah, we can we can proceed for finding the difference equation. To find the difference equation, we have to substitute H of Z is equal to Y of Z by X of Z, cross multiply and then take inverse Z transform and we will get the difference equation. If you want to perform verification, the steps are first we have to let Z value equals E power of J omega, then we have to find the frequency response, we find the magnitude of the frequency response and then we change that value to dB scale by taking 20 log and we substitute the value of omega is equal to 0.5 pi and we get the answer as minus 3.04. Similarly, when you substitute the value of the omega is equal to 0.75 pi and you calculate, we obtain the value as minus 15.44 dB. This is going to serve as a verification of the design. So this shows that we are meeting the passband requirement exactly and doing better in the stop band. Now coming to the difference equation, we are aware that H of Z is defined as Y of Z by X of Z. Substituting this value and then cross multiplying, we obtain this and then we have to take the inverse Z transform. So taking inverse Z transform will give you the result which looks something like this. So this is the final difference equation for the given problem. In the next problem, we consider designing a digital filter H of Z that when used in an A to D H of Z D to A structure gives an equivalent analog filter with the following specifications. The specifications are passband ripple less than or equal to 3.01 dB, passband edge 500 Hz, stop band attenuation greater than or equal to 15 dB, stop band edge 750 Hz and sample rate is said to be 2 kHz. So in the problem they have provided you with the FS value, FS is said to be 2 kHz. Either they will provide the value of T or they will give you the value of Fs. The filter is to be designed by performing a bilinear transformation on an analog system function, use Butterworth prototype and obtain the difference equation. Let us begin by listing out what is provided. First we change the frequencies into analog frequencies in terms of radians per second. Omega p is 2 pi multiplied by 500, the answer is 1000 pi radians per second. Omega s is equal to 2 pi into 750 which is 1500 pi radians per second. The value of kp is given to be minus 3.01, ks is equal to minus 15 dB. The value of t can be computed as 1 by fs, the answer is 1 by 2000 seconds. Now to obtain the digital specifications, First, omega p is multiplied with t and we get the answer to be 0.5 pi radians. Similarly, omega s is multiplied with t and we get the answer as 0.75 pi radians. The next step would be to perform pre-warping. We have to pre-warp the band edge digital frequencies using t value taken as one second. Now, 
omega p dash is equal to 2 by t tan of omega p by 2 on substituting the value of omega p which is 0.5 pi and t value is 1 we get the answer is 2. Similarly omega s dash is computed and we get the result as 4.8282. The next step, we have to design the n-log filter using the transfer function h a of s to meet the pre warp specifications of step 2. Here we calculate the order and we find that the order value is 2. We determine the cutoff frequency using omega p dash and the answer we will get is 2 radians per second. Next, we calculate the transfer function for second order normalized low pass filter the transfer function is given by 1 by s square plus root 2 s plus 1. Next we apply what is called as low pass to low pass transformation to get the required pre warp analog filter. The transformation is given as h a of s is equal to h2 of s where s is replaced by s divided by omega c. So the substitution will be s being replaced by s by 2 in the transfer function for second order normalized filter. Substituting and simplifying you get the expression as 4 by s square plus 2 root to s plus 4. The next step to get a digital filter we have to apply bilinear transformation. Once again the value of t is considered to be 1 which was taken in the initial pre warping step. The expression for bilinear transformation is s being replaced by 2 by t times 1 minus z power of minus 1 divided by 1 plus z power of minus 1. Substituting that value and simplifying, we get the expression as h of z is equal to 1 plus 2z inverse plus z power of minus 2 divided by 3.4142 plus 0.5858 z power of minus 2. To compute the difference equation, we have to replace h of z by y of z by x of z. Next step would be cross multiplication. So after cross multiplying and then taking inverse the transform on both sides, we end up with the difference equation as it is shown here. Finally, to simplify, we take all the other terms to the right hand side and on the left hand side, we keep value of y of n. This is possible through dividing each term by 3.4142. And here is the final result. Thank you all.